Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can connect to your files to the Tableau Public. So on the left hand side you can see we have the different options by which you can connect your data file which is which can be spreadsheet, uh, Microsoft Excel, text file or Microsoft Access database. Apart from this if you have data on the server then you can connect to the server and import the data. Also it provides the flexibility via which you can connect to Windows as your marketplace. So there you need to create a connection or an account which will generate an account key through which you can connect to Windows as your marketplace. So for now let's see how we can connect to the Excel spreadsheet file and for that I will click on Excel and uh, that will open the dialog box for me from which I can select the Excel file like this which is cats versus dogs. It's a uh, data which has been collected for dogs and cats owners and a couple of their information related to that so i'll just click open which will now run the query in the back end and here i have the data displayed so it has just one sheet which has been selected by default but if you have multiple sheets then you can just drag that sheet over to this white location and then your data will be displayed over here so as you can see uh, you have different columns which is there in this spreadsheet and the respective data points has been displayed so here currently by default Tableau has observed this data and predicted whether it is a numerical data or a character data or a categorical data and accordingly given the formatting so for example this percentage of uh, dogs owners so in case of this field, it has selected this numerical which, which is indicated by hash that it is a number decimal. Similarly, in case of number of pet households in thousand, if I want to see which format has been assigned to these, this column, I can click on this hash which is number whole. So you, you see this uh, Tableau's internal engine is smart enough to predict what kind of number you are importing and then accordingly it is assigning the format related to that data which you are import, importing. So let's quickly see what are the different options that we have. So if you are not satisfied with the default assignment of data format, you can choose according to your requirement. So here you have data and time, data, string, boolean and the default option which is uh, by default when you import the data. Apart from this, you have geographical role so if you have something related to geographical data like you have latitude longitude options or you have country names or city names you can actually assign this information and tell tableau that this is a geographical data so after this number formatting if you want to change the name of the column then you can rename this want to hide this you can hide this or if you want to see more details about the column you can click on describe and see this different details related to the column. Here on the left hand side we are seeing the detailed data or a preview data source. If I want to see the metadata I can click on this list kind of uh, icon which will show the field name, what is the table name and the remote field name. So remote field is, name is nothing but the field name which is by default displayed here uh, in the tableau and this is the source field name. So if there is any kind of change or you are specifying alias or something then you can uh, change the remote field name which we are going to discuss in, in uh, coming videos. Um, apart from this you can add a filter if you want to specify some kind of a filter for example a uh, number of uh, pets household in thousands if you want the figures to be above 1000 then you can specify a kind of a filter over here. So once you click over here this dialog box appear and once you click add it asks you on which field you want to uh, apply the filter. So probably we can choose this field number of household in thousand. Let's click OK. It will ask it should be in a range of values from 221 to 12974 which is the minimum and maximum range. You can specify the range by adjusting this scroll bar or this slider. If we want at least that means the value should be 1000 or more than 1000 then we can choose this option and specify this value over here and as you can see the range the second box 
which is disabled in this case at most is maximum it should have 1000 or below 2000 all those values will be displayed if there is anything kind of special like uh, you want to have null values you don't want to have null values then in that case you can specify it accordingly the option so let's quickly check this option at least and say it should at least have 1000 or more than 1000 uh, households figure in this column and I can specify this option whether to include null values or not so for now I'm not checking it let's click OK and see the change now here in this field number of household in thousand every data point is either thousand or above ten thousand which which has been filtered according to our condition so that's how you can specify a simple condition if you want to add more condition you can go and add it that same location earlier it was add because we had not specified at any condition at that time but now if you want to add any condition or if i want to add it so for edit i can select this and my edit or remove button will be enabled or if i want to add a, another condition i can do it very easily like i did earlier now let's quickly see how we can change the name of the column uh, like for example if you want to add some kind of a business friendly name so for example here i have a percentage of cat owner for this if i want to just specify by hitting rename that percentage of cat owners just click ok it is renamed and you can see both source and uh, both remote and uh, this field which we have changed here in the metadata section so the changed field is appeared over here and the source field or the remote field is appeared over here which is the one we, we imported from the data source and after this let's quickly see this show field show hidden fields option so for this we need to go in over here and right now uh, i can uncheck this for now and uh, make any field hidden i will say okay hide this option and uh, if i want to hide this from the front end but i want to see it over here i can check this and you can see it is enabled or shown to you but it is grayed out which is indicating that this is a hidden field which is forcefully visible to you once you have checked this show hidden fields option once you are done with all of your arrangement and filtering and changing of fields etc all, all of this uh, massaging of data then you want to take this data to your uh, dashboard or to sheets to create visualization for that you can click on the sheet one and uh, it will going to populate uh, all your uh, dimensions and measures in a separate section to you and we will be uh, interacting with these uh, these uh, locations or these fields dimensions and measures and different kind of charts in the coming videos but this is pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video about how to connect and massage the data in the data source section of the tableau hope uh, I found this useful and uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new topic.